The way slot machines work, whether they be a physical reels or a video slot, is the moment the player presses the spin button, random numbers will be picked um, from a certain range and they will be mapped to positions on the reel strips, one random number for each reel. The, the uh, game will score whatever the player got and pay the player. So each reel is independent and the outcome is determined the moment the player hits that spin button. Does it matter if you push the spin button or pull the handle? Absolutely not. Whether it be pulling that handle or pressing the button, the moment you do either one of those is when the machine picks its random numbers which determine what you will win. Is there such a thing as a loose or a tight slot machine? There is a difference between a loose machine and a tight machine according to the EEPROM chip, which is the uh, computer chip that the uh, slot machine manager decides to put in that machine. He made one slot manager may decide to set his slots at 92% and another way one at 90%. However, the players are not going to know what chip is in that machine. And you hear players complain all the time, this machine is a cold machine. Um, the reason that player is complaining is probably because he just had bad luck. It takes millions of spins for a slot machine to start to approach the, um, the theoretical percentage that it's supposed to pay. In the short run, anything can happen, as with any form of gambling. Is there any way to tell if a casino has tight or loose slots? Nine years ago, I did a survey of all of Las Vegas and tested how loose they set their slot machines. And a few rules of thumb that I can give you, and there are plenty of exceptions to this. Rule one is that the nicer the casino, the tighter the slots. And rule number two, the further away you get from the strip, the looser the slots. Can someone in the back room just flip a switch to change the payback percentage on a slot machine while you are playing it? There is a common myth that some guy in a back office somewhere can flip a switch and change a slot machine from being loose to tight. That absolutely is a myth. With most slot machines, if you want to change the theoretical return percentage, you have to get a key, open it up, change the chip, do some paperwork. Here in Nevada, you would have to fax a form to the gaming control board telling them that you made this change because they can do surprise inspections at any time and make sure that the returns of the machines are set to what you say they're set to. An exception to what I just said is what's called server-based slot machines. These are not very common yet, but some casinos are using them. Now, with server-based slot machines, they can, the return percentage can be changed from a distance by, say, the slot, ma slot manager at his desk. However, there are regulations in place to uh, prevent abuses of this. As I understand it, the, um, the machine cannot be changed unless it hasn't been played for at least four minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Is it a good idea to always bet maximum coins? It depends on the game. With slot machines, if you're playing a progressive game and you have to make a max coin bet to hit the progressive, indeed, you should bet maximum coins. If there's obviously a big incentive to play max coins, for example, one coin jackpot pays 1,000, two pays 2,000, but three pays 10,000. That is a big economy of scale for betting three coins. You should do it. However, if there is just a small incentive or no incentive at all to bet max coins, I would recommend not doing so. The way slot managers set their machines the higher the denomination, the higher the return percentage. So if you want to get the best return out of a slot machine, I recommend playing the highest denomination you're comfortable with and then the fewest coins possible. If you play a machine for 30 minutes and then leave, someone then plays and hits a jackpot, would you have won if you had stayed? It's a common myth that players will complain 
that after they left a machine that somebody else came down, played it, and stole their jackpot. For example, I was playing this machine for eight hours. I took a break to have lunch or go to the bathroom. Somebody sat down in my machine and hit that jackpot. That should have been mine. Um, and it's an absolutely unjustified accusation to make. Every single time you play a slot machine, the results are independent of anything that's happened in the past. The odds are absolutely the same on every single spin, much like, say, craps or roulette. If a machine just hit a jackpot, is it a bad idea to continue to play that machine? Another myth about slot machines is that once it's hit a jackpot, you should leave it alone because it's going to be cold for a while to get back in balance. Absolutely not true. The odds are the same every single time you play it. Um, and it, even if the last five spins all hit jackpots, the odds are still going to be the same on the very next spin. And your probability of getting that jackpot is the same as the exact same looking machine next to it that hasn't hit a jackpot in five years. Is the payback percentage on a machine changed in any way when someone uses their Players Club card? The return that a slot machine is set to pay is the same regardless of whether or not a player puts in a player card. It's a common myth that putting in a player card will cause the machine to pay less. Absolutely not true. Makes no difference whatsoever in terms of what, how much the machine is going to pay. Is a slot machine ever due to hit? Absolutely not. Uh, as I've said before, every time you play it, the odds are the same and independent of the past. There's a common myth that the machines pay in cycles and or the machines have some sort of a gravity to the return percentage and if it hasn't hit for a while, then the odds are going to improve of, of hitting the jackpot. Absolutely false. Uh, the odds of hitting a jackpot are the same every single spin and it doesn't matter when the last jackpot was hit. What is your best advice for slot players? My best advice for slot players is to switch to video poker. Slot machines are a lousy bet. You run a lot of money through the machines per hour. It's the most, probably the most expensive form of gambling in the casino. If video poker interests you whatsoever, I would highly recommend studying video poker, looking for the good pay tables, do a little bit of homework, and your money will last much, much longer in video poker than slot machines. How can people learn more about you and your work? If you want to improve your odds in any casino game, I welcome you to visit my website, wizardofodds.com. It'll show you the correct strategy to at least 100 different casino games. Or you can buy my book, Gambling 102, which will show you how to play the most common casino games.